Okay, well, back with another live stream. Um, the last one, I uh, changed some settings on my router. Let's see, what did happen? Yeah, I changed settings on my router, and it rebooted and lost the stream, and I just kept going because I just, you know, I was going to have to upload the video anyway, and I just kept going until I had to have a break. So I thought, well, I may as well try another stream with this one. Any, anything I don't have to upload is it saves me a lot of time, so... I like to always stream when I can. So, um, it hit me. I'll go, let me check my audio on my stream. I see that it's up there. I've got video. Okay. It's in the red zone, but hopefully it usually, it usually gets better after a bit. <clears throat> but, uh, so I've got the camera, the new Comrie camera sitting there in um, Wi-Fi mode waiting to be paired or uh, logged in, you know, logged into the, uh, uh, what they expect, I guess what they're trying expecting you to do is do a direct connection to a, a wireless device like a tablet or a phone. I'm, uh, you know, I look, uh, in the previous video I went to their, I, I scanned their uh, QR code and uh, with my phone, and it, um, I just had a feeling I should check that uh, website out before I went to it. So I got on my computer and typed it in and did a search for it, and then I did a. I have a add-on in my browser that can scan links for malware. Sure enough, it, um, uh, there was one engine out of eighty, but wants too many to detect a malware on that site. So uh, <coughs> um, I decided not to go there. <coughs> um, see, <coughs> how did I? Somehow I saw <clears throat> a preview of the site or something. How did I notice that? Did I actually go to it? Anyway, it... Uh, <clears throat> I might have went there. Anyway, it... Because uh, I remember seeing... Maybe I went there first and then scanned it because all there was was a white page with some Chinese text in the middle. I saw that. Or maybe anyway, I'm getting really tired, getting kind of mixed up. <coughs> yeah, I quit coughing. <coughs> Until I talk again, I guess is what's happening. <coughs> I got a cough drop. I noticed it was thought it was getting itchy though when I tried to get back to the stream. <coughs> so I got a cough drop. Kind of seems like they make me cough more at first and then they help. <clears throat> so, uh, what I realized, though, is I could try <clears throat> getting a tablet and using one of these apps that I have on it already. I thought about it, you know, that you could don't absolutely have to, usually always have to use the app that comes, that they recommend or that they made for the... <clears throat> device like this so like my security cameras uh, the app had very bad ratings and it wouldn't uh, well it won't see that app wasn't compatible with my phone anyway but I went ahead and used the phone to scan it <clears throat> just to check find the URL and I wanted to check it out before I tried to put it on this tablet <clears throat> because I don't have a QR code scanning app on the tablet anyway <clears throat> so uh, then I remembered I saw this a couple of times. It's called Tanny Cam Free that I put on here to be able to view my security cams. And um, if this thing is uh, streaming any kind of IP uh, camera stuff, then I should be able to uh, see it. I can see both of my... Well, I can see myself right now because this, this camera that you're seeing me on is normally up in the window as one of my security cameras. And the other one, which I... Couldn't show, well, I could just show you a picture in the 
you know, on the tablet, but there's no point in that. <clears throat> anyway, it's, uh, they're both in there. <clears throat> uh, let's see if I can add this uh <clears throat> just realized I can try adding another camera <clears throat> and see if it sees it <clears throat> but um, it's not exactly what that I kept thinking of maybe I, and I still might be able to connect to it uh, you know connect it to my router I probably I went around and around with my router and red and red and then I started looking at security issues and stuff about I didn't want to turn on anything unsafe I actually found out I had UPN, <clears throat> they had turned on UPnP by default, and it was hidden in a sub-menu that I never looked into. So I turned it off. <clears throat> I hope it doesn't stop. <coughs> Dang it. <clears throat> UPnP is universal plug-and-play, and I do use Skype, but hopefully... If it stopped, I can manually open that port. I have to find out what port it's using. But <clears throat> so anyway, let me see. Uh, <clears throat> can't remember what you got to do to add a new device. <clears throat> I'm not. I know I'm not showing it, but uh, <clears throat> I'm getting so tired now I don't I just want to see if I can get anything down yeah scan network let's do that because <clears throat> it's all it's all on the same network so it's a D-link router anything else I guess it's done. <clears throat> Adding the router wouldn't work. Wouldn't do me anything. I don't know. I don't really remember. <clears throat> it shows the router and... Uh, oh, it's not quite done yet. Yeah, nice. It shows the percentage. <clears throat> 97%. I don't know if it only scans for new devices or all devices. There should be the two that are already in there. <clears throat> Starts fast and slows down, I guess. <clears throat> Almost there. All it saw was my router. I think I had to, well, I don't know the IP address, that's the thing. I don't think, it doesn't have an IP address. Oh. Well, when I clicked on the little button that I thought was going to, like, show more or something, it actually deselected the router. Well, let's go back. I don't think it should be selected. <clears throat> Seems like it's maybe added something that's not there you know it's not set up yeah video fell not found everything goes away faster and you can click on it Yeah, I added one, but this time I'm going to try, there it is, I'm going to click on it, and then what, I don't believe it'll, hmm, there was a check mark on the D-Link, I guess it was scanning the D-Link is what it was. <clears throat> Now it's, it was a check mark on the D link, and I clicked this button on the bottom right, and now it was a search icon. Look like a magnifying glass, you know. <clears throat> now it's scanning again. 
um, but it's deselected. The the D link shows up, but it's deselected. Maybe because it <coughs> now sees there's no camera there. I don't know. <coughs> I kind of remember I had to set up. I think one showed up. <coughs> <coughs> And the other one. <clears throat> Still scanning. And one showed up and one I had to manually put in of these two cameras that's in there. Okay, so it's um, this time it, it's just back to where it was, but now the D-Link's not selected. But it has another device in there, but it sees, you see no preview. So somehow I added a device, and it says 404 not found. I wonder if I can edit the settings for that. Well, I don't know the IP. <laughs> Camera settings. Camera name D Link. <clears throat> D Link. Yeah, it's. The only way that would do you any good is if you had a camera on there and it was forwarded, you know. <clears throat> Hmm. Username, password, <clears throat> HTTPS. I don't know if it's using. I know it probably is using HTTPS. Let's see. Thing is, I'm finally realizing that uh, these uh, this camera is, I think is set up to be a device to device connection, not to go through your router, but to go from the camera to a uh, a phone or a tablet straight straight on <clears throat> and uh, might be able to still get it to hook up to the router it doesn't have it the thing is my old, old routers I could uh, I could see Wi-Fi devices in the area and then I could you know try to connect to them at least uh, if you know the password and everything you can connect to them usually <clears throat> but uh, auto update remote IP address <clears throat> yeah I don't know what ports it's using if it's anything like the I don't think it's going to be just like one of these IP webcams where it uses port 8080 or <clears throat> any of that stuff oh yeah on one of the cameras I had to tell it don't use port 80, use 8080 <clears throat> to get it to work. What I think it's doing is just seeing the router because it's serving up IP addresses, you know. <clears throat> and it's served well, and I maybe even, since it is running a web server, but it's not seeing, well, port 80 is what the web server is on, but I'm not serving any camera. I'm serving a website. That must be why it sees it, because I'm serving up a website. That doesn't help me with this. 
I was thinking I should do. Home Wi-Fi network connected. I'm worried about, I think about taking it out <clears throat> because it's a, well, but it doesn't show a preview, so I guess it doesn't really fool anybody. To me, it, it made me you know, see it and want to click on it. Can turn on, um, use encryption. But the thing is, it, it doesn't use a user ID, the camera, it uses a SS. It just has an SS ID and a password. <clears throat> Could try putting it in there, I guess. I don't think that would work, though, because it's going to the router's I main IP address. And I don't believe that, I'm sure that that camera hasn't connected to the router and gotten an IP address. Now that I realize what's going on. Go ahead and put the camera's password in there and put it on um, HTTPS. And I'll just leave it on that port because that's the only port that this thing uses open. Check the statistics. Sure connection, yes. No frames. No drop frames. Oh, it's going to 443 now. Yeah, it didn't connect. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can take out that HTTPS, but leave the password in there. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. You can check the status. Tells you, you know, the way you can experiment. <clears throat> now it's going to video.cgi. By default, I don't know. I mean, it didn't work. So. Wait, what about the username? I wouldn't have a clue. I'm not going to guess usernames. So. Get rid of all that. <clears throat> Check it again. I took that out of there. Took the password and all that out of there. Now it's trying to go to port 80. <clears throat> Video.cgi. I've never seen anything that used uh, video.cgi. I've seen them use. <clears throat> uh, like my uh, VLC streams that I pick up in OBS Studio that you can see right now, that uses uh, the IP address, port 8080, forward slash video with no uh, extension. And, but uh, different um, different devices, it's whatever they, it's, where, it's whatever, you, uh, basically forward slash video is a folder. So that's where that's being served up from is it's on the root directory uh, in the video folder. That's what that means. <clears throat> so uh, that's where that uh, video is being served up at. That's where the that's where it's being cached, I guess you would say, where the stream is, you know, being saved. But, of course, it's not staying there. It's a st live stream, so it, it caches it, and then it goes away after so long. I don't know how long. Depending on the, how the it's just default in IP webcam how it does it, but uh, I'm figuring more. There's more and more to all this. The more you learn, the more there is to learn. Okay, so there's about everything you could imagine in ways to uh, hook up another camera, but all that really is is just. <clears throat> You just, you know, there's no stream preview, so it's just showing a little grayish picture of a camera. 
And then when you try to, you try to go to, if you click on it, then that brings it up full screen on, on this tablet, you know, and it just says, uh, 404 not found. What I would like to do actually is get it out of there. Let's see. Sequence cameras per page. Manage cameras. There it is. It's trying to get me to buy something. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's called D Link. Yeah, edit, delete, copy text, delete. Yeah. Because that'll just be, it's annoying to me. <clears throat> But um, this is a pretty cool app. Um, some of the features are not. <clears throat> can't really see it, can you? But that's my. So you can see me in one. Normally that one's out my window, and the other one is my security cam. <clears throat> uh, you can just quickly open, you know, open up the app, and that's what you see. And then if you want to see, <clears throat> if you want to see. Um, full screen view then you touch one you want to see <clears throat> it's probably going to make a feedback loop doing that but I don't know if I got it well I can't seem to get it to uh, <clears throat> anyway you know what you know what I mean you know what I mean Vern okay so I'm going to get out of this app I'm going to see what other apps are on here, but I don't even think there's another one of those kind of apps on here because I think that's all I needed. And, um, definitely not going to scan it. You know, I don't have anything to scan it with. I, can't, I was sitting there thinking, well, I ought to put QR drawer down here, but not right now. That's not what I'm doing. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, there's only that one app that's for looking at cameras like that on here there is a scanner app but that's for scanning things like to a doc making a document yeah tiny cam free there were several I tried out three or four maybe I think I might have I think I narrowed it down to about five and then only installed about two or three of them and that was the one I liked best um <clears throat> But it, it's one of those, you know, partially functional apps if you don't pay for it. So it's kind of odd because um, if you, uh, it says the audio won't work unless you pay for it, but it does work in the, I guess it works when you like make it full screen. That that one, uh, the security cam has audio built into it. And, uh, but then you can't, I think you can record silent videos uh, you're recording the stream, uh, but you don't get the audio. And then the camera itself, I thought it, re you know, it records high, uh, five megapixel videos all co automatically. You know, uh, every time it sees some movement, it records for uh, so however long I forgot. And uh, but and I and I downloaded several of them. And uh, there's no audio in the recorded video. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Why wouldn't it record the audio, you know? It streams it, but it doesn't record it. <laughs> and that is the camera I bought. I mean, it, you know, that's the hardware. I mean, that's the firmware inside the camera. So uh, there's always some kind of crap with this stuff. Um I mean, why buy a camera with audio if you're not going to get the audio in your videos? You know, and of course, if, if you if you wanted if you had something happen where you wanted to, you know, you show that video to the police or something, you want the audio, right? So why'd you pay sixty sixty five bucks for the camera <clears throat> and that's supposed to have audio and then it doesn't record it? <clears throat> Yet it streams it. <clears throat> so. Uh, it should be the important thing is to have it in the recording, not to have it in the stream. You could actually, but by not sending the audio through the stream, you could cut down on bandwidth, bandwidth quite a bit. 
but and just record it to the video. <clears throat> so I noticed a while ago. Oh boy, that battery's going down fast. <clears throat> Uh, in order to, well, I, I can plug it in. You might ought to do that. I figured out just a while ago that I, that I can plug it in. I got to get stuff out of the way. Let me do it. So I figured out I can plug it in, but I'm, I'm going to turn it off because when you plug it in, it turns it off. <clears throat> if you plug in your chart, not to the computer, because when you plug it in the computer, it immediately tries to go to... I have that all wound up real nice over there. Let me get it. So, um, yeah, you can't see it, but, uh, I mean, I can see it, but you can't. I was trying to touch the Wi-Fi, and I thought, okay, can I put it in that mode while it's charging? Because the other battery went all the way down. There wasn't anything showing on it, which, but it was still running. So, I, I got the other battery put it in there, but I just never lost. Man, they went down a a bar or whatever they're not they're kind of different they're little squares in the battery but uh you hit m hit m oh you can't okay oh there you go you just gotta hit it good and you can touch wi-fi and then you can touch that and then it should put it into there yeah Okay, so now it won't be running the battery down, and I can leave it like that while I'm trying to do it. Um, the other one I plugged in, I, when I plugged it, I just plugged it in the computer, and it just shut it down, and then went straight into the uh, connect to the files or, why you know, webcam mode, uh, USB cam mode. So I thought, well, I wonder if I plug it into my... It didn't come with a charger. It just came with a cable. And this cable is the 15-footer that I bought. Much bigger cable, better cable, I think. Uh, anyway, I have one of my phone chargers that act, it was just sitting there. I don't know why I did that. I left it plugged in with no cable in it. Should have taken it out of there because the transformer was sitting there working for nothing, you know. And it's been there for months. I didn't even realize it. <clears throat> but uh, I usually keep things all plugged in. Uh, the phone's plugged into the chargers, and then I turn off. There's an extension cord that runs from a power power strip down here under my desk, runs around here to that, and so uh, I turn it on when I get up and turn it off when I go to bed. You know, so they're not running all the time. Now this one that uh, you're, this one here that I've got, I've got it plugged in so that it won't run down. But normally it's over there by the window, plugged in over there, and it does stay on all the time, which I don't like because. It's actually what made these batteries swell up so bad. They were, I think one of them was already swelling a little bit, and then I used one camera until the battery swelled up so bad that it disconnected it, and it you can't use it anymore. Uh, it won't even, you can't even get it to lit on the on the thing. And then the next one, the one that's in there right now, that I've been I've been kind of swapping it back and forth, whatever, uh, either one of these camera uh, two and three one I want to use <clears throat> and then camera oh this is camera one yeah the camera one's battery is swollen but not that bad uh, the one that this one this one is the one that it usually lays on the desk with no battery in it but uh, because camera three is the one I, I like to use for a wireless mic and it's all set up in OBS studio so I don't you know <clears throat> uh, 
but actually camera three, the uh, screen has begun to, well, actually, I thought the screen was separating from it. It is a little loose. Well, this one is too right there. Surely that's not happening because of me. Yeah, it's sticking up. I think it having that that swollen battery in there is causing that. The screen is beginning to kind of separate from the just like camera three, yeah. And you you know it real quick because the light starts shining out from under it. It's really not a good thing. I should have broke down and bought I the batteries are probably still available. I found some new new uh well there'd be new old stock so i don't know what kind of shape they'd be and that's one reason why i didn't buy them and they're 16 bucks each and i thought well i paid 15 bucks for the cameras but they really are worth it because i've looked and you you don't find too many quad cores now you find dual cores for 30 you know 20 uh, you're lucky to find them for 25 they're usually 39 dollars at walmart and these were 15 at walmart when i bought them for quad cores and if you do find a quad core, it's probably going to be fifty dollars and up. So um, they have really been valuable. That's when I finally decided. Well, what I'm really using them for is cameras. So why don't I get a, a better camera? You know. So I ended up spending a hundred and ten bucks on this this camera here. And it, it's hopefully it's going to be worth it. I mean, it's it's doing what I wanted to do. The only disappointing thing is that really bad audio onboard audio but you know this is how i do my audio anyway with the sm58 going through my mixer and everything so uh, the only time when i would want the mic to be uh if i want to carry it around and use it like a regular camera then i want of course you want good audio <clears throat> but uh, and again like i said before i tr it does it does work with my old lapel but it was distorted and i thought well my new lapel has, I think, a bit weaker signal because it's a dual lapel, but on one, you know, one, uh, it's not stereo, it's mono, but one one connector, and uh, it has a nice, better sound. It's, it sounds better, so I haven't tried it yet. I need to plug it in there and try it, but uh, <clears throat> I'm sitting here with that blinking and waiting for me to do something. I think I'm about out of ideas. What was the other idea I had? Oh, a different app. Yeah. Let me look in. Uh, <clears throat> the only other thing. Oh, yeah. The one other thing I could do is mash the button on the router. I didn't want to do that. I think I'll do that. Let's see. Yeah, I'll leave it on camera, get up there and find that button. Oh yeah, I need the I need the browser. Actually I don't necessarily need it on camera. Let's see. Get confused here. Let me get the I don't know if I want to leave it on desktop or Yeah, I think I'll leave it on desktop. <clears throat> You'll be the first to see. What's going on? <clears throat> I don't remember. The router is not too, too hard to get to. <clears throat> it's on the top of everything else. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just go to connected devices. And I guess this is waiting to connect. So if I match that connect button on the router and it automatically connects, then I'll have a new device in here. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it like this. That way... That way, if I miss anything happening, I'll see it in the video.
hard to find. I'm still trying to get to where I can get to it. I have it all tied up here with the string so that it doesn't fall behind the desk. It's happening. I didn't want to untie it, but I finally did. trying to. First knot was easy, the second one here is not so easy. I got them kind of safety tied. I mean the knots are safety tied too. Accidentally. Laptop's going crazy because it's been hot, working too hard. Okay, it's loose enough to move now. The cables are, the power cables are just barely reached to where I'm at. Spin it the way I want to. If I can see the back of it. Not to mention, yeah, it's the power cable. If I keep jacking around with it, I'm going to get it unplugged. shit. Well, sorry. Yes, it's unplugged under the desk, I can tell, because the light went out, and it's still plugged in up here.
so uh, the stream is down again because I unplugged the router. So I don't have to worry about the stream. So for videos for my account, I lost connection to the router. Just to ensure that that's well, I guess the live chat stream. I know that's what happened. This happened before, but uh, I can't even find the plug yet. Sometimes it just comes out uh, part of the way, and I can push it back in. But uh, I'll get off of that for now. Oh, I've lost my camera because I have no Wi-Fi. So all I got is local. Of course, I could plug in this camera. Started to look. Uh, I'm not right up at the mic on my left. I should be. I started to look at some paperwork or something to see where that button is. I thought, well, I'll just look for the. And about the time that I, I started pulling on it a little harder, trying to turn it around. No, no, it's not waiting for that. It's still unplugged. The wall one. That's it. I do see one. I don't know. There's one just laying there, but all the rest of the wire, I think I dropped it on. Yeah, that's the one that goes to the TV. I dropped it on accident and never dug it out. Probably can't hear me. Maybe one good yeah, TP link. Maybe one good thing came out of that. I, I would have. I probably would have been wondering where it went. It was laying up on top of the TP link router, and I knocked router, and I knocked it off with something. I remember. I kind of remember now. Um, well, instead of just showing you a web page with an error on it. I'll just see if I can plug this. I'm going to turn it off. Get the cable. Plug it into the computer and see if I can get it to get this camera to work for me. Let's see how am I going to do this. I guess I'll put it over here.
so um, it's on and everything, but it's not going to work until I close OBS and open it back up, probably. Go back to the desktop and then come back again and see. Yeah, OBS never works like that. Uh, if you unplug a, if you plug in a camera, <coughs> USB camera, um, I forgot that my router's down and that's nobody can get on the internet. I got to figure that out. Okay, well, I got to, I got to close it to get it to work. Bye.